It's a brand new day today. You know what that means? It's time to get the line wet. We brought quite a few selections today, but the main one that I'm working with today, top water. We're going to try to fit some of this flooded grass, some of this flooded brush, and this flooded structure and see we can make something happen. We have us a frog, we have us a plopper, two of the best baits that you can throw as far as top water fishing. And it's late spring, early summer vibes here in Florida. We have some good cloud cover, so let's get at it. Let's get straight to the lake. Get it, let's go. Definitely no shortage of flood situations around here. See, the only thing about flooded grass and flooded situations in general, the bass have like a million freaking places to hide. So there's really no other choice but to just cover water, hunt them down, and then we're going to throw a top water for the most of the day because I really feel like the bass are going to be right along the edges here, along any kind of edge of grass, edge of structure. Because bass don't like to be in open water in flooded conditions. They like to sit super tight to structure and just ambush prey. Easiest fishing that they can do in their life. In all honesty, I should have a frog tied on. But we'll make it work. It's super thin grass and I just want it, I want this plopper to really make a lot of noise and commotion and to really draw bass from distance. All of this just looks so good. Tie the frog on. Throw that frog. Let's throw the frog directly into the thickest of the thickest of the bushes. Can't do it with the plopper. I'm just kind of speeding it by. But I need something that can actually sit right on top of them bushes. It's time to start playing. Everything looks so juicy. Everything looks good when it's flooded. It's giving me a freaking headache already. I just want one five pounder, one meaty bass. Looking for Big Bertha. Come on, y'all, frog. Find me Big Bertha. I believe in you, frog. If you go ahead and pull this off, I got a bowl full of freaking flies for you. Whatever you want to eat is on me. Give you a thousand bucks. See, it's like right now, I can already feel it. I'm super anxious and ready to get that first blow up. Frog fishing can be super exciting, but it can also be super frustrating because I really do feel like I'm, I'm in such a rush to get this first bite that we have to remember, we have to remind ourselves, we have to remember to be super patient because once they blow up on that frog, you got to give them an extra two to three seconds to take that frog. Now, if you don't, you're going to know about it because you're going to miss them every time. Because as soon as it's time to set the hook, I'm like, mm, I'm ready to got thing take his jaws off. Yeah, buddy, we're trying to get knee deep in them trenches. Walking on water, no sidewalk currently. Flooded sidewalk. If there was a fast enough, that would be freaking insane. But it's super shallow. We're just going to keep moving. We're going to keep hunting them down. Oh, 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 oh yeah. We let him take it on, the super patience, super patience. Let's go, baby. That's why you keep covering the water. You keep throwing towards the flooded grass, baby. Stay on, just stay on for me. Please stay on, pretty girl. Please stay on, please stay on. Oh, we got us a bass in the flooded area. The flood, the flood and the rain pays off. We got us a black. Got us a bass in the flooded area. Look how dark his back is. Can you see that? That's how you know they're living in that grass and them bushes. He's not a big one, but this is the first key. We walked around the first, I, I say we walked around like the first quarter, maybe like 30% of the pond. Just kind of, we're just covering water steadily, throwing that black frog as you can see it. Made it around his bend, where the sidewalk at. Man, that bass just smoked there. He missed it the first time. I just let it sit there. I honestly couldn't believe my eyes. So great feeling. Actually, I almost ripped his lip. I'm not sure if you've been caught before or if I just did that with the braid. I apologize, bass. My sincerest apology. Let's get this bad puppy released. The one great thing about fishing flooded areas, they got easy to release is. Let's get back in there, buddy. Let's go. Fishing flooded side walls and grass for bass. Come on, man. Let's get it. We locked in. We got our first bite. We got the focus. We got the drive. We got the patience. We just got to dial in and catch us a couple more. Man, let's go. tell you how I'm feeling. You can kind of see open water. There is flooded grass, granted. But then there's also more grass right there. It's not quite as flooded, and it's also sitting right next to a structure or next to this tree. 
So my game plan, my first cast, before I cast into any of this other mess, I'm casting right by that tree with the grass next to it. Usually, the biggest bass is going to take the best cover on that lake. So those should be some of the spots that you target first. Maybe on the back side of this tree. Yeah, this looks a bit more promising. Taller grass, hard structure in the mix. Oh yeah. What the freak? Was that a blue deer, baby bass? Boy, you scared me. Heart went to pound. <laughs> Come on, I need birth. Hey buddy, good job on catching your first bass. Job's not done yet. It's fine, big bird. Gives you lemons, you gotta make lemonade. Yo, where is my coffee? This grind is taking a toll on BLV. We're walking around this whole entire pond, and it's disappointing me because I know the potential of this place. I know that there are some bigs here, especially with all of the flooded grass, all of the new home locations for these bass. We only caught one, not a big birthday. So I don't know. I'm just a little disappointed. We're going to keep at it because I know that there are some somewhere. We got to cross this road. I really hate walking on the side of the road. Especially with these crazy drivers here in Florida. At one point, all of this was underwater, so you really had to walk in the road just to even get across. But now, we're fortunate enough with a little bit of grass. It's still flooded somewhat, but I think we can make it happen as long as we stay out the road, stay closer to the water than the road. And we're good. Yo, what if I could make a left hand pitch? I'm not even left handed, but if I could just cast that thing up and just go to popping that frog and boom! Or just freaking explode on. Oh, I got a bite. I just had a bite. My dad just freaking rolled by and blew the horn at me. I just had a fish and I missed him. Like, what kind of duck is that? My dad is out here causing me to lose fish. What kind of dad is that? Now nah, I'm just, I'm just joking around. Actually, he's the one that got me into fishing. So if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be a BLV. We definitely got to make up for that. That right there, that made me feel some type of way. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> okay, they're small. There he is. There he is. He came. Stay on, boy. There he is. Came back for it. Let's go. Come here, buddy. Stay on up. Let's go. No, stay down. Don't you even try it. Stay down. Stay down. You gotta become one with the element sometimes, baby. Mm. It's another solid Florida fish right there. We missed two bites so far. Second fish. Throwing that top water frog around flooded grass. You see it, baby. Let's go. We got that beautiful fish unhooked. Y'all see it. A good solid bass. That's not Big Bertha that we're looking for. That frog still have more work to put in. Let's get this bass back released. Still a good feeling. It's midday. The sun coming out. So got to keep grinding hard, baby. Let's go. Now, for the easiest part of this fishing trip, getting them released, it doesn't take nothing because everything is so flooded. Thank you, buddy. Swimming off for now. Oh, oh, oh my god oh my god I, I was not expecting that i was not expecting that are you crazy i was not expecting that <laughs> are you crazy right by the road <laughs> right by the busiest road in town right now but let's go i was not expecting that oh my god <sighs> let's go <sighs> can't find big birthday as we wait for the audio to clear. Still not a big birthday, but hey, we'll catch these all freaking day. When they're smashing the top water, man, he didn't even give me a chance to react. Let's get them back in there. Thank you a lot, buddy. Woo, your boy is cooked. 
It's time to take us a break. One raw, one real, one lure, we made it happen. We made it best of our current situation, which is all of the flooding that has been going on here in Florida lately. As y'all can see, man, it's all on the sidewalks. It was even in the road at one point, but Mr. Froggy made it happen. We caught us a couple. We didn't catch Big Bertha like Mr. Froggy promised us to, but you know, we're going to always stay at it. It was one heck of an adventure. And we also did a lot of walking, a lot of casting. So just a lot of exploring with these new homes for the big bass possibilities. And of course, the grind doesn't stop. We're going to come back out here again. We're going to hit other spots and we're going to stay searching for those five to 10 pounders. Let me know in the comments your favorite top water lure. And until next time, stay safe. Peace. We're out. Keep those lines tight, baby.